Oh, so he's just shaving off all the black parts of his hair. I did not expect that to happen. Where do you even come up with this? It got more satisfying. Oh. Hi, beautiful. I miss you. Let's watch some insane barbering videos. This one better be good because it has 16 million views. Buckle the fuck. Up. We are in for a treat. By the way, I don't know if anybody's gonna give a shit about this video only because I usually do like female hairstyling type of reaction videos, but this one was for me today. I've been doing a lot of work. I just like needed to sit here and watch something that I really wanted to watch. So hopefully we see eye to eye on this one, but whatever if we don't. We're going right in with the bleach and he's doing a metallic blue, it says in the title. So that sounds like the coolest thing ever. I have to be honest, I've never seen anybody bleach hair like this in my entire life. He just holds the hair up and just starts taking little pieces down with the brush. It works for him, I guess. Also, the guy's hair is luckily short enough that he's not gonna get hot roots when he colors his hair like this, like all at once without doing the mids and ends first because it's really hard on short hair to do that. You don't really need to. If the hair's all laid on top of itself, it's gonna have the heat and the scalp distributed evenly throughout the entire hair strand, so it'll be fine. He's laying that bleach on there, getting it on there precisely with every single hair strand covered completely and perfectly. And oh, I love to see it. When you're doing men's color and the hair is this short, I totally recommend combing the lightener through. It makes sure every single piece is covered, but try and use a wide tooth comb because otherwise you can remove the lightener from the hair and you'll end up with spotting, but definitely combing through is a great idea. This guy has the most insane head of hair. Like it is the most luscious, beautiful hair ever. And oh my God, he is blonde as fuck. This is gonna be wild. This color doesn't look very metallic to me. It looks like pastel, but we'll see what happens. He's coloring that hair with one hand. One hand and a dream. You don't want to use a cart or anything, like put, put the color down or use a bowl. I know you have your techniques, but it just looks so hard. You're only one and then it, it, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. I mean, do you. Why is that the most interesting looking blue I've ever seen? Like it's sort of multicolored, but like in a really pretty interesting way. And it's almost translucent where it does make it look kind of metallic. What? I love this color with this guy's skin tone. It is beautiful. This dude is is a wildly good hair cutter. I mean, the precision on those cuts. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see this? Oh, it's so perfect and clean and beautiful. Oh, it makes me feel so good. It makes me feel so warm and oh. Okay, so we're going for like a little bit longer on the top, shorter on the sides moment. From the thumbnail, I saw some really interesting hairstyling going on. Like the end result is crazy. So let's hang on for a second and let's see where this goes. All I know is that this man is looking handsome as fuck already. Good hair does wonderful things for a person. I mean, when I don't have good hair, it's bad. Like, I look like trash. When I have good hair, I look good. This guy too, he is looking fine as hell with this new cut and color. Look how tiny that little round brush is. It's like a little baby little round brush and he is doing every single strand perfectly. I'm sorry, I keep on just gassing this guy up, but like, there's nothing I can say that's wrong with anything he's doing. It's just beautiful. Oh, you guys. Okay, now he's giving us a little bit of like a lineup on the back with like a V formation. I'm excited for this. It's all about these little details he's putting in. The shaping on the, the sideburns and the neck and... <sighs> I need one of those brushes. I see people use these all the time in these barbering videos and it's so cool. It like puts the perfect like finger rake look into the hair and the side profile is profiling. Holy sh You know, 
just when I thought, again. It can't get any better. It got better. He's putting metallic spray on top of the blue, so it becomes the metallic blue that he promised us. And I think that's a genius idea. I'm obsessed. Yeah, there's a reason why it has 16 million views. That was the most satisfying, coolest end result ever. The metallic spray at the end just topped it all off. Oh, spectacular. Oh my God, that was so cool. And the transformation from before and after, it doesn't look like the same guy. That's wild. All right, this one's gonna be another banger. All right, let's go. Let's watch it. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> By the way, like the video. Subscribe. Get me to 10 million followers. Like, why not? I am still gonna die if you don't subscribe to me, so. Another bleacheroonie to start the video. We're about to see something crazy again. This hair is dark. I hope we're gonna get it light enough to do something really fun. Because again, it's dark and it's thick as hell and this type of hair does not lighten very easily. But something tells me my man Agno, he's got it down. He's gonna impress the shit out of us and we're gonna see another shocking transformation. I love this tin foil moment he does. The tin foil is also perfectly applied. I wonder if he does this all for show on YouTube or in real life he doesn't actually do all this stuff because like the precision on every single thing he does is insane. It's making me feel like a sloppy little bitch. No, honestly, I'm the person that just like throws shit everywhere, but then I love cleanliness after I'm done. Like I love things in place and clean, but like when I'm doing something artsy, when I'm coloring hair, when I'm cutting hair, when I'm doing anything with hair, the way that the whole place will be covered in shit by the time I'm done. Like I need somebody cleaning up after me every time I do anything. It's really bad. Okay, so something interesting is already going on. We left like this side area right here darker, which I wasn't really expecting. Also, the hair is not that light. We are going red though, so we're good. I love that he's just dropping the red right on the head. This is perfect because you don't need to lighten the hair that much in order to do red, right? We don't want to over lighten the hair or else that red will not stick and it will not have a good like base for the red to go over. The more orangey the hair is before you apply the red on top of it, the better. And this is like a deep bloody red. Oh, if you're gonna do red, make it look like my guts have just poured out onto your head and it stained your hair, you know? We definitely colored the hair and the face this time, <laughs> but that's, it's okay. We're gonna get that off. And please tell me he's gonna make this look metallic at the end like the last time. You know it killed me and I want more of it. Ooh, this is like gemstone red. Like it is like, mm, what's that gemstone called? Ruby. It is ruby red. Ah, and delicious. Unsure though what's going on with the with the black parts on the border. Looking a little bit scary for me, but I'm sure it'll come together at some point very soon. I hope. He's doing his classic round brush technique with the little tiny baby round brush and every single hair just being perfectly propped up and a nice beautiful blowout. This kid has the perfect skin for this hair color. He has this like neutral skin tone that is just looking so sun-kissed because of the warmer color on his hair. He looks just like he laid out for a good two hours and just got that perfect little beautiful healthy tone to his skin like it is just bringing out all the health i'm also just such a sucker for eyebrow slits this is making me want an eyebrow slit so bad right now like just slit me Oh, 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 oh. So he's just shaving off all the black parts of his hair. Oh, I did not expect that to happen. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going with this? doing a skin fade. Okay, this is making a lot more sense now and it's looking spicy as hell. 
You guys, let me just tell you, if you've never done a skin fade before, it is so difficult when the contrast is this heavy. Like when it's dark hair and very light skin, this is not easy to make look this perfect. I mean, every little strand is in the perfect place. Every little detail is perfect. You have to have such a steady hand and he is free handing this, which is a clipper. It's miraculous. Oh, the comb, the finger comb thing. I love it so much. This guy, by the way, has the most perfect face I've ever seen and it's pissing me off. His skin is perfection and his side profile is to die for. looking red. I've never seen a guy look better in red hair in my life. I had red hair for a long time and I trust I didn't look that good. Oh, that was good. Granted, like that kid would look amazing in everything because he's very good looking, but wow. The haircut was perfection. The color perfection. Oh my God. The artistry insane. I am in love, but it doesn't stop there guys. Come on. We're going to keep going and you're going to keep watching. Okay, I've already seen the thumbnail to this and trust me you guys like it's gonna seem boring for a second But just stick with me because the transformation is actually insane Like one of the craziest things you'll ever see I don't want to show you the thumbnail because you can already see what's gonna happen Just, just wait don't click off my video <laughs> because I want to enjoy this with you This kid is so adorable <laughs> And he's about to get this craziest hair transformation you'll ever see It's all starting off so normal, right? Like we've seen a men's haircut before. Maybe most of us have, I think. It's like, okay. Yeah, home is saying like, Brad, we trust you. This is gonna be a cool transformation. Let's keep watching it. Let's skip ahead a little bit, right? Let's get to the good part. Okay, so already, if you don't know anything about men's haircuts, like this is already getting crazy. Like he just put some gel on the hair and now he's doing the lineup, I think you call it, on the hairline. I never got a lineup. Don't come at me. Like I don't know what the fuck a lineup is really. When I say I don't know what a lineup is, I lied to you. So let me tell you now what a lineup is. A lineup is when there's a line lining up your hair, right? An outline, basically. And he's about to put some f work into that hairline. Watch this. I thought he was doing a lineup. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. He's actually creating a f piece of art on this kid's head. Let me just tell you something, guys. He is using a straight razor, just one blade, and he is going in this kid's head and just chiseling out some art like he's coloring with a crayon on a white piece of paper. Like he's just making it look so easy. This is not easy. That razor is straight and he is putting it right on this kid's skin and making a design. Do you know how hard that is? Probably not. You should try it, but not on a real person because you will cut them. It just keeps getting better already. And we're not even close to the final design guys no 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 i promise it's gonna be really good he is doing shading with clippers they don't teach you this shit in hair school this is some crazy artistic shit. I want to take a class by him because I am astonished. I'm sure he figures out what he's going to do before he does it. I don't know if this is like freehand. He just kind of comes up with it on the spot, but it seems like he knows exactly what he's going to do. He probably draws it on a piece of paper and then transfers it to the head. Like, cause this is really intricate. It's just crazy. Oh, hold up. So this side of the head is going to be different than the other. <sighs> the intricacy is just delicious. Sorry, I'm like drooling at this point. The satisfaction I am feeling right now as he parts this hair in perfect sections. It's just miraculous and just so beautifully done. He is working through this head, giving this child the most precision haircut I've ever seen on a man in my entire existence. I mean, this guy clearly loves what he does because the detail that is put into each of these snips is wild. Absolutely wild.
So it seems like he's creating some kind of mohawk moment going on. He's cutting everything at 90 degrees, which is gonna give you a lot of sort of roundness to the mohawk moment, which I'm very excited about. Cause he's also gonna color the hair, sneak peek. He's gonna color the hair. And I only know this because I saw the thumbnail, but we, you're gonna wait. You and I are gonna watch this together. Did he just cut that top layer to match the design underneath it? Where do you even come up with this? We are going in with the bleach and now he has to be so exact with this bleach to not mess up the design below it. If one little piece of lightener touches the side design, he's gonna have to color that dark. It's gonna be a pain in the ass because he's gonna have to cover that all up and it's gonna be really annoying. But no, if you look at what he's doing, every little strand is accounted for and he is putting that lightener on with exact precision. I mean, just beautiful. I think he's done this like once or a hundred thousand times before because how do you even learn how to do this? Just the application is astounding. Is anybody else at home appreciating this? Am I crazy? I hope some of you out there are also appreciating this because this is art. And we got him Blonde blonde. Ooh, just how I like it. Now, the fun part is really starting. We're about to color the hair. You're gonna see how cool it is. Oh, the yellow to top it all off. We got the yellow. Oh, but he's not done. We are doing the tips orange and he is doing that by putting red over the yellow. It's just gonna look so cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm just sitting here appreciating at this point. I am in awe. If I haven't convinced you yet that this is the coolest shit ever, I don't know how I'm going to because now, not only has he done that design perfectly, now he's going in and painting the design to make it extra crisp and just perfect looking. It's so good. Can we just give a hand to this kid who's sitting here for probably like four hours, five hours getting this hair done and the kid has not moved the entire time. The way that I would be the worst hair model in the entire world, the way that I was getting my hair done yesterday and actually wanted to die. <laughs> like I hate getting my hair done. And that is why at this point in my life, I get my hair done like once a year. <laughs> the way he styled the top of the hair and it looks like some kind of anime wig is so sick. The front was a little silly looking, but the side profile, it's on 100. It is so cool. It's kind of like an Aztecian pattern mixed with like an anime style on the top and that cool yellow, that highlighter yellow on the top is just spectacular. It is such a beautiful color. All right, we're just gonna watch one more really quickly because I feel like I just haven't shown you the scope of his work and I think these things are so cool. Let's just quickly watch one more. I don't really have time to watch one more, but I want to. Okay, we're obviously bleaching to start, but we're also bleaching the beard. Ah, yes. Okay, now he's alternating, I think, between purple and blue on the root, which looks really cool. And now we're doing a green midsection and yellow ends. So creative. And I love the way he sort of like freehands this stuff and isn't really like super precise in his sectioning. I think it adds the overall aesthetic and the end result being a little more artsy looking. And the beard is gonna be multicolored too, to match. All right, cool. This little ombre of colors is so cool. He's now airbrushing some more hair on this guy's head. enough. That end result was a little wild. Did he wear that? That's what I want to know. Is he, or is that just like a fun little thing and then they've switched it after? Did he actually wear that beard like that? I mean, good for him. <laughs> it's just 
fucking wild and so well done and everything was just perfection. Look at this guy before and after. What? That was so cool. <laughs> I loved everything in that video. I see some of the most creative work done within the barbering world. The precision is next level. If you want to color your hair similar to any of the colors we saw in today's video, make sure you check out my hair color line. The link right down below or go to xmondohair.com. That's all guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.